Hey, this is Trip from TripAdvice.com, and today we're talking about how to break up with a girl. I've gotten this question uh, a few times in the past, and uh, hopefully this is not something that you ever have to go through, but in many cases, it's inevitable. You will be dating a lot of girls, and it might just not work out, so you might have to break up with them. So I want to give you some really important points that you need to know when you break up with someone, stuff that I've learned personally over the years and other things uh, that I've read and I've heard about in terms of how to deal with really heavy emotions and uh, especially in some sort of conflict, argument, or discussion with another person. So let's go over those today. First of all, it goes without saying, the number one key in a breakup is honesty. So you got to make sure that when you're breaking up with a girl and you're talking to her, you're letting her know exactly how you feel, why this is happening, why the relationship didn't work out, or why dating isn't working out, and just be very upfront with her. This is going to be one of the harder things that you're going to have to do because it is difficult to let someone know that you're not interested in them anymore. And that's pretty much why I'm making this video because it's hard to do. Right? It's hard to really be able to say those things about a person because you don't want to make them feel bad. Uh, or maybe you do because they did something terrible to you, so it will be easy for you to just break up with them. Uh, but either way, honesty is just the best policy. Let them know because if you don't tell them the truth, they might not think that you're telling the truth. And then this breakup could be much, much longer because they're going to still try to extract everything out of you. So it's always in your benefit to just be as honest as possible. Now, with that being said, you want to be as specific as possible. Okay, So be specific. If you're speaking in generalities or if you're too vague, they're also going to be very confused and it's really just not going to help the breakup at all because they got to know exactly what's going on. So speak specifically. But at the same time, you don't want to over explain. Okay, so if you're saying the same things over and over and you're being very redundant, then what's going to happen is that that person is just going to be ripped to shreds and it's going to be very hurtful for them. So just say it once, say it specifically, make your main points, and then move on with the conversation. Now, another important point is I believe this is just my opinion, uh, kind of up to you at this point, but you should do it in person. Okay, now the only exceptions or if you've been on maybe one or two dates, maybe three, four dates, something like that, at that point, you know, phone call, not the worst idea. Um, texting, I just don't think is a good idea at all. I mean, it just, it just doesn't help. So I think phone call or meeting in person, preferably meeting in person if it's been over maybe four or five dates, something around that area, is the best to do. You want to be a man about it, okay? Of course, you're never going to be able to avoid hurting the person, but you want to be as upfront and mature as possible. So give them res the respect and give them the time of day to meet up with them and let them know. Don't cower behind a phone, and more importantly, do not cower behind text messages. Next, you want to do this as soon as possible. The second that your mind has been made up for sure that you're not interested in this person, then you don't want to delay. Because first of all, you're going to be a jerk by leading them on and thinking that something is great when it's not. And also, you want to move on too, and you want to start you know, continuing your journey and finding someone else that's going to be suitable for you. So make sure that you do it as soon as you know. Again, in person if possible. Do not delay even for a day. And lastly, and maybe one of the most important things, and uh, there's so much to talk about on this topic, but we'll keep it short. But whenever you're explaining to someone why it didn't work out, or even if you're in a conflict or argument with somebody, never point fingers, okay? Never point fingers and say, you did this, you did this, you hurt me, you did this. Instead, you want to use a different type of language. This is something that I learned in terms of having difficult conversations. Uh, you want to basically say, I feel. So instead of saying, you hurt me, say, I feel hurt. Okay, so everything should be starting with I feel. Okay, don't put the blame on them. Just let them know how you feel and how it's affected you. That is the most mature way and the most pleasant way possible to be able to explain to someone your emotions and how you're feeling uh, if they have done any wrong or if they've hurt you or if it's just not working out anymore. 
So there you go. Tons more to talk about on this topic, but that's just a brief overview of some of the key things that you want to do if you're ever breaking up with a girl. And if you're a girl and you're watching this, all this stuff goes for you too. This is pretty much for anyone. Anyone who's breaking up with anyone, those are some things you want to make sure you do. Trust me, it's going to be better for you in the long run. It's going to be better for your ex-partner in the long run. So take those and use them. Now, if you're just getting back in the dating game and you want to start meeting someone who is quality, then go ahead and check out my Super Seduction course, which you can check out in the description below or right here on the screen. The Super Seduction course will help you meet more women and also teach you how to get them turned on by you so you can have a long-lasting, awesome relationship. So go check that out. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.